What is up guys, Chuko here. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing um, a movie. I've reviewed movies before, but I've never reviewed something that's not related to hip hop. Um, today we're going to be reviewing Boulevard Nights, a classic. Um, that's it guys, bite. No, I'm kidding. Okay, um, it was a classic movie about a gang member. And, uh, not just a gang member, but, but uh, a gang in the movie, uh, the guy's name was, uh, Chuko, played by Danny De La Paz, and that's kind of the inspiration that I got for my name, um, but I'll get into that, because I, I've changed my name so many times on my main channel, but I'll get into that another day, and, uh, yeah, so, I mean, this movie was, uh, a hood movies classic this was the real I feel like this was I want to say the one that started it all with all the hood movies but I feel like it was one of the original ones um and I know you got other movies that are about gangs like the Wanderers the Warriors uh, but this movie I feel like maybe it was the first like Chicano gang movie kind of I guess I don't know um but it was a classic uh, about this young kid, his name is Chuko, he was in a gang, and basically he never... Or that was a fly. Anyways, um... This damn fly, I can't... Okay, anyways, um... This kid never grew up, basically. Um, he, he didn't know when to leave the gang, um... Eventually, they... They get they they're cruising down the boulevard. You know the the, the name of the movie, the Boulevard. They're cruising down the boulevard, and this kid ends up killing somebody from a rival gang. Uh, what, what were they called? Eleventh Street. He kills somebody in a rival gang called Eleventh Street, and Chuko is with VGV. He's with the VGV, and Chuko, uh, they accidentally kill him. Uh, the 11th Street guy, because they got into like a fist fight. Because this was like, this this was like old old school gangs, you know. They where they you know they fought with their fists and stuff. So somebody pulled out a knife. I think it was true. I can't remember who. I can't remember right now off the top of my head. But somebody pulled out a knife. This 11th Street guy. I guess he fell on it or something, and he died. And this started the whole beef between 11th Street and uh, the VGB. Uh, they got into a fight. One thing led to another. Uh, Chugo started messing up a lot. I mean, he he uh, he started messing up a lot. I mean, he got fired from his job where his brother worked. His brother uh, Raymond uh, he got him a job at a car shop, and they worked on lowriders and stuff. And he uh, lost his job. Uh, he it was just Chugo just kept on messing up. He, he just kept on messing up and he got to the point where uh, his brother Raymond got married and because of the real bad gang beef they uh, one of the gang members shot Chuko's mom through the window during the dance that they were having during the wedding and Chuko, Chuko was supposed to be I think the best man or something and he didn't come he came real late and uh, but he was just standing outside he didn't go inside the house I guess like he was ashamed or something and then his brother Raymond came out, and um, yeah, his brother came out, took him inside. His mom was happy to see him, and he he just danced with her. And somebody put a gun in the window. They shot, and Chuko uh, he found out who it was who killed his mom. And uh, spoiler alert. So if you want to skip, you can skip. Uh, uh, Chuko, uh, he went after the guy with his brother, and then they they found who they found out who it was, and they they killed him. They they killed the guy, and then Chuko they had to run because all, all the other gang members were pretty much like alerted, kinda. And then they they like oh, oh shit hey it's going you know it's going down or whatever right so then they started shooting at the brother Raymond and Chuko as they were driving out and Chuko got shot in the back 
and died. And that's pretty much how the movie ends. Uh, not, nothing really much to it. Pretty much like Boys in the Hood, just the Hispanic version. But Boulevard Nights did come out first. It came out in 1979. This movie is like almost 40 years old. Um, and yeah. That's all I gotta say. Great movie. Uh, I would say it's kind of family friendly because it's not like it's not like American Me, where it's like very extremely violent. No, 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 no. It's a good movie for everybody to watch. Uh, it's worth checking out. And yeah, Boulevard Nights. Peace.